Hey, what's going on guys? Thanks for checking out today's video. Today we're going to take a look at the Wizard Blimp Lalo. Now, um, the thing that I'm noticing with this attack, one, is time is very important. Because I'm basically doing two sueys. Sueying my blimp and sueying my heroes. And maybe even sueying, sueying the royal champion after the king and queen. So, instead of with the king and queen. So it takes even more time. So the time is really important, and you want to get things moving um, as soon as you can, really. And here with the blimp, I'm always looking for the value, um, because the chain value is so important to take advantage of. So here we go. We got the town hall, we got the uh, scattershot, and we got the inferno. Plus, we got a pretty nice-looking funnel. Now, on this particular raid, I did this uh, on stream with Dub. And I was going to come over here with the heroes, but he said, no, no, no. You want to come this backside here because you can take from uh, 12 to 3 to 6 with the heroes easy. So let's see if he's right. So here we go with the golems, king, queen. Going to put the RC in for this uh, expo because we're not going to be able to get it with the queen. Now the Lalo in. And the hounds gonna haste pretty much the entire way for the Lalo and look at this the Lalo only has to get this far because the heroes did in fact clear all the way to six and I'm just gonna use my freeze and headhunters down here to get the RC down so there we have it I even zapped her too just for good measure all right let's take a look at another raid so on this one we're gonna get some incredible chain value there with the multi-target by the eagle so here comes the blimp in and here comes the wizards zap 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 and the whole core is gone uh we have even a nice funnel and i kick myself now because i do the sui heroes here with the ice golem and the regular golem when i could have saved the ice golem and used it up here with the rc and taken down this whole compartment as well but you live and learn, right? So here we go. We're just working our way through. I end up using the RC for the uh, eagle, I believe. And this is going to get really close because I am not a very skilled uh, balloon player these days. So here we go. Run into the tornado. End up burning the warden ability way too soon. Lost all the balloons. But by some miracle, and because we got so such good value in the beginning, we do still end up tripling this base. So yeah um let's go ahead and take a look at the next raid okay so looking at this i thought it was too juicy to pass this up you got the king or the queen the rc and the eagle all together where i can send my blimp in here get a scatter shot and all that value in the center there that's just too much for me to pass up like i can't i can't walk away from that so here we go blimp is in Got the rage down, got the invis down. I try not to invis the scatter because I want that to go down early. And here we go, invising these wizards. They're doing just fine. Do they get the queen? Yes, they do. We pulled out the CC. And this is again a raid we did on stream. And Dub was uh telling me to come down this direction with the heroes to get to that scatter. I was gonna sue you for the town hall. But I decided to go with his plan, and we'll see how that goes from here. I'm gonna go ahead and put the king and queen in. Just kind of waiting for things to develop here. And right about here, I'm thinking I want my RC in here somewhere, but I didn't want the enemy king to kill her, and luckily I put her with my king, and that worked out really well. And oops, so I start the Lalo over here at the nine o'clock side because the heroes have completely gutted the uh, three o'clock side and I really want to make sure I can get to the town hall early because these sweepers are going to be a big pain so there we go we're freezing everything up having awkward pathing to the town hall but we do end up having balloons track back to get to the town hall which is nice RC is doing a ton of cleanup King is outside running around cleaning up trash buildings as well I don't know if you saw that there was like a thousand skellies pop there and I zapped them that was pretty sweet. Saved the RC's life, probably. Queen's still alive down here. And the strat is just crazy. 
it's so much fun doing the Sui Blimp and the Sui Heroes just to see how much value you can get on a base and then ballooning whatever's left. It's like a fun little challenge <laughs> me and Dub have to see who can have the best Sui. We don't even necessarily care about the balloon portion. Okay, so this is the account I did not do on stream. And this is my log. I went 255, triple 99, two terrible two stars, three triples, and a one star. So let's look at some of these triples. Okay, this base. This was a base that was giving us headaches with the wizard blimp drag strategy. Okay, uh, no one stars or anything, but just couldn't manage to push through to triple. So here, I decided to lure out the CC, and I think that's a mistake looking back. I don't think I really needed to do that. I was just worried that if there's headhunters in there and I tried to blimp directly to this town hall, that the blimp won't make it because the headhunters slow the blimp down. But anyway, so here we go. We're going to blimp the town hall and the CC, which is always nice. I love the wizard blimp for the simple reason that it takes down the CC as well. I mean, it's just so valuable. You get so much value out of this CC, um, out of this blimp. Okay, so now I'm going to Sui into the multi-target Inferno here. I end up right about here popping the Queen ability when I meant to pop the King ability to protect the wall breakers from the Inferno beams. And yeah, so we're not going to get as much value with the Queen as we probably could have. And another mistake I make is here, right? Why am I not putting the balloons in yet? I'm just watching my heroes work. There's not even abilities to be used. So um, because time is such a factor, you really have to put your Lalo in as soon as you can. And clean up. I put the minions in early, which is smart. Tried to freeze the RC there, didn't get her. But the, the headhunter is in the tome, so that'll at least get the RC down. And then we just work the Lalo through the base, play the spells. Um, and we have a ton of balloons left. Now, this was an underweight base, so um, <laughs> I had a little advantage there. The archer towers and whatnot were a little lower in um, level, but it uh, felt good to finally triple this base with an air strategy for sure, or this particular strategy. Couldn't get it with the dragons, but we'll see. Okay, ring base. I don't know if this is the, the Gaku ring or kind of looks like it, kind of looks modified, but what I want to do is come in here with the blimp, drop it about here, and take down all of these buildings here, and the RC, of course. But that, of course, if you're getting these, you're going to get these as well. So here we go. Blimp is in. Going to rage up. Really important not to invis spell the, uh, the key targets you want to take down. And also, where you drop your blimp is important. If you drop your blimp on top of the town hall when it goes down it's going to kill all the wizards right so that's something to think about so i try to keep it like in this raid i kept it behind this wall so that there was no chance of him going in here but i don't think on this base it would have been a bad idea if you get the eagle it's actually really good value anyway we're going to come in here with the heroes i'm going to fast forward this this is not how i recommend hitting ring bases i think that this is the incorrect way to do it and I'll show you why after this. We'll watch this, and I think there's another ring base that I hit that I can really illustrate. But what I have here is the heroes all coming down the same side, which is fine, but they they took out, they basically took from where the blimp cut a funnel, I used that and forced the heroes around. Now the heroes do so much work that I activate the town hall, and I have to come right at the town hall with the balloons, and then another set of balloons over here, to support them after they're done dealing with the town hall and I don't think this is the best way to deal with these kind of bases. It does work here but I think the best way to do it is to do the Sui portions, the Sui blimp on one side, heroes on the other and I think we'll take a look at that right now. Yeah so what do I mean by doing two separate uh, Sui's? I'm gonna Sui the blimp here on the side with the RC, okay? Here we go, gonna get all this down. We don't get the RC, but we got the funnel, okay? I'm then gonna Sui the heroes over here, okay, for the queen. And what that's gonna do, once you take out up to this, right, 
is on the top it creates an hourglass shape where I can lolo from the top on both of these sides, this Archer Tower and this Archer Tower, had the balloons converge to the middle into the town hall, right? And what that does is it really makes it hard to one star, <laughs> right? Now, it just so happens that the heroes end up taking down this entire bottom section, which is unbelievable to me. But here comes the Lalo. We're going to poison the minions. We do have a lightning spell for whatever else is in there. I like this combination of spells a lot because... It makes dealing with CCs much, much easier. Here we go into the core. Kind of looks like it's getting thin in there, but we actually have plenty of balloons to take this baby down. Here we go. There we go. And actually, we are down to one balloon. So plenty of balloons, I guess, means one balloon. <laughs> um Anyway, we end up taking this thing down. It's pretty crazy how strong this is and how fun it is. Again, time is really the only thing that stops you other than not knowing how to hit a base. Some of the bases I look at, and I don't know how to, to do balloons on them, right? Another very popular base. I'm going to go ahead and blimp right on top of this. I'm going to drop the blimp on that sweeper to get the town hall, the scatter shot, and the expo. Let's see what happens. There we go. Everything goes down. I'm then going to suey the 12 o'clock. I lure the ice golems up with an archer, then I could take them down without taking fire. I use those balloons there to keep that baby alive, just to help with the funnel here. And then we're going to send the heroes in, basically for the queen and for the scatter, and we start the lalo early. We start the lalo early. It seems like it's a key thing in these raids. We work our way around, <clears throat> hit the tome here, and... We're out of balloons, but we have a ton of everything else. It really seems like um, when you're the, the kind of Lalo player I am, <laughs> the balloons run out pretty fast. Oh, this is funny. Um, I didn't. I used the zap there because the skellies never popped, and then as soon as I put the lightning in, then the skellies popped. I was like, okay. <laughs> that's just the way it goes for me, I guess. All right, so that's it. That is the Wizard Blimp Lalo. It is crazy strong. Lucas, I believe, is using it in Legend League right now, and he is only tripling or like 99% time failing every single raid, and he's pushed way up to like 58 or 5,900 cups right now, so he's facing like top-tier bases and absolutely crushing them. The strategy is very strong. I recommend uh, giving it a try. So... All right, that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one.